to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand another concept related to economics uh, and this question that we are going to deal with today has come in the last year's UGC net paper 2 economics. So let's discuss this question and also understand various concepts associated with it. Now the question that we have over here is a match the following question. So you have to match the various concepts with each other the correct concepts with each other of course. Uh, now over here I have not taken the various options that were present in the question paper but instead I have taken just the question so that we can understand in full length the various concepts related to it. Now the very first concept over here is menu cost okay and so we have four options menu cost, quantitative easing, pump priming and trade off between inflation and unemployment. I am very sure that you must already be knowing various concepts uh, by reading a lot of books but instead of understanding all the concepts together let us go one by one and understand each of this concept in brief so that we know how to adjoin these various lists okay. So let's first understand about the menu cost. Now you must have seen a menu right in the restaurant any any restaurant will have its menu card and you will have various items and you will have the prices written in it right some prices right now it often must happen with you that you may go to a certain restaurant after a couple of years you go again to the same restaurant you may find that the prices of the various items that were enlisted 3-4 years back in the menu card of the restaurant have increased. Now that's where the concept actually derives from. So basically the concept happens to be when a firm uh, due to inflation when it uh, associates or when it incurs higher costs now due to inflation of course all the prices increase so because of that the cost of inputs and various associated costs when they increase the firm of course is going to dilute those costs by increasing instead its prices right so for example a particular company was using some technology but after a couple of years that technology requires an upgrade and probably the person who was appointed as a manager also requires an update so when the company according to the requirements of inflation will attend to all of these concepts everything everything that the company is incurring will always be costly due to inflation and which is why the prices will also increase of all the commodities that the company is producing. So when the cost increase due to inflation of a certain firm and because of which it reflects in the increased or hiked prices that is menu cost. So with this example we can definitely say that menu cost is associated with what? With inflation, right? The next question is quantitative easing. Now let's again understand this concept okay so quantitative easing quantitative easing is a concept which relates to the monetary policy of any economy now of course that is also enlisted in the list so let's not just join it before that let's understand something related to quantitative easing so quantitative quantity meaning relating to money because we are uh, dealing with monetary policy so when the central bank of any, any country is going to purchase long dated government bonds or government securities from largest banks of the country largest uh, let's say uh, banks nationalized banks of the country at that time and when when you purchase something what do you pay you pay money so same way when the central bank of the country or let's say reserve bank of india if with respect to rbi when it purchases long dated government bonds and securities from largest banks of the country of india then what will happen money will float in okay in the 
economy through these various banks and the banks will also have much more liquidity and economy will also face much more liquidity so easing meaning monetary liquidity you are the reserve bank of india or the central bank of any country is providing liquidity in the economy by the method of quantitative easing okay so with this concept it's also clear that quantitative easing is the concept related to monetary policy okay then we have pump priming so let's discuss that as well now pump priming so pump priming is a concept related to fiscal policy wherein the government expenditure the government expenditure will increase okay through various investments like investments let's say in um infrastructure okay and uh, also may the fiscal policy also may introduce some reduction some reduction in the taxes okay now when will this occur of course when the economy is facing some trouble which means the time of uh, recession grave depression okay so during the time of recession or depression when the economy faces a situation where the liquidity is not there in the structures or structurally the liquidity is not there in the economy along with the problems in employment and other things other macro uh, macroeconomic things so at that time the government is going to infuse money through various investments so not just the money will increase or the flow of money will increase the government's duty is also to raise employment opportunities and which is why through infrastructural investments infusing the expenditure of government in different projects employment opportunities will also increase which will also lead to long run purchasing power increase for different individuals so this is a fiscal policy methodology and which is why pump priming will be associated with fiscal policy okay and finally we have the trade off between inflation and unemployment now we already know that the last remaining um, associated list is uh, the term is phillips curve but let's also discuss it in brief so a w phillips gave this concept where he said that the inflation rate on the y axis and your uh, shit and the unemployment rate in percentage on the x axis okay we can understand an economy's growth where there will be an inverse relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate so basically the concept of phillips curve was related to the growth that can be seen in the economy when slight inflation increases in the economy which also results in growth okay which means that demand is increasing in the economy which means that people are demanding more commodities so the prices have increased and so the there is little bit of inflation okay so when there will be more of inflation rate you will see that there will be less of unemployment which means that when more people are in employed in the economy of course they are earning money and so they are demanding for goods and so the demand increased demand has increased the prices of the commodities and therefore there is inflation in the economy so this is this is the inverse relationship that was um, 
conceptualized by a w phillips of course but because of the the various concepts like stagflation and other things um, phillips curve had to be modified by various other economists okay so presently with the question related we know why the inverse relationship or the trade off between inflation and unemployment is associated with phillips curve so this was it for our concept uh, keep liking and sharing our videos and do comment in the comment section below of each of our videos so that we may know your suggestions on which other videos should we make on which other concepts uh, and do subscribe our channel ecoholics thank you